Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Joseph from ScreenBite, and today I'm announcing my experiment. So, this is an experiment that I've been wanting to try out for a little while, and I have hinted about it in a previous video, uh, both the LumaFusion as well as what's in my travel bag, uh, which, depending on when I put this out, may or may not be on the channel yet. But, what I wanted to go ahead and do is talk to you about what my idea is and what I plan to do for the future with my iPad. So as I mentioned in the LumaFusion video, I'm not gonna go into too much detail here. Um, I wanna be more and more mobile and have a solution that allows me to edit my videos and photo edit and do whatever I wanna do from wherever. And that's where this iPad comes into play. Um, now, I wanna get a couple of things out of the way. Um, one, um, in the original video, I was editing on a 6th gen 2018 iPad, just the regular iPad. Um, now, that is still powerful enough to do everything that I'm gonna talk about here, so if you have one of those, don't worry. Um, the reason why I swapped it out was because I bought the version that did not have enough storage, um, and I talked about this a little bit on Twitter, but um, you can't actually edit from the cloud with the LumaFusion, so you need to have enough storage to at least hold the files on your device while you're editing. Um, then you can go into other solutions, which I'll talk about a little bit later in this video. Um, but, um, basically, um, you need to have enough storage on your iPad to edit the videos and then you can throw it off to a cloud storage solution somewhere else. Um, and I didn't have enough because I wasn't originally planning on doing this with that iPad. So, uh, if you have a smaller, uh, less, if you have a lower storage spaced iPad, you might want to be careful with editing larger files like that come from the GH5. Um, so, I returned it and I ended up going with the 12.9 inch 256 gigabyte iPad Pro. Um, I just figured, why the heck not if I'm returning it and I'm going to be using it as a solution, why not get the best that I could? Um, so this should definitely be enough storage for what I want to handle, and it's a little bit of a beefier processor with the A10X versus the A10, uh, so that should also help with editing, um, maybe a little bit smoother. But, as I mentioned before, the regular iPad can do all of this. Um, so, um, let's talk about what we're going to be doing. So um, over the course of the next month, I'm going to try to turn this iPad into my primary editing station. Um, I'm gonna edit all of my videos on it, I'm gonna do all of my thumbnail work on it and photo editing work on it, um, as well as it's gonna take the place of my media storage and stuff like that. Unless I have a product that physically requires me to be on a PC to use it, let's say like a mouse review. Um, so, when it comes to this iPad, um, I plan on doing everything from it and trying to figure out what is going to be the best workflow to do that on this iPad. Um, and hopefully uh, I can prove Apple's claims to where this can be a one and done solution or laptop or PC replacement or prove that it's not the case. Um, now I know there's going to be a couple pitfalls, one being uh, file management and storage um, but I'm going to work my best to find a workflow and solutions that I will then give to you guys for those of you who want to try something like this for yourselves. Um, but yeah, as of right now, um, there is a couple of things that um, I am working on with my workflow, and that is that I am going to be using LumaFusion for all of my video editing, Affinity Photo for all of my photo work, um, as well as I think for now I'm going to be using Pages to type up all of my scripts and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna have my Google Drive be my primary cloud storage for all of my files once I'm done working with them, um, as well as I might try a little bit of iCloud and try to get all of these things to work together. Um, I don't wanna go over my exact workflow now because this is actually day one of trying this, but I will definitely update that workflow as the experiment goes on. Um, and definitely keep a lookout because there will be videos through this process of what I've decided to do. But yeah, um, I wanted to go ahead and announce this to you guys now, that way you guys are aware of what's going on, just in case something changes with how the channel looks. Please know. Um, but yeah, um, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video, guys, so thank you once again for watching. As always, if you liked it, make sure to show it by hitting that like button down below, it really helps me out. As well as if you have any questions about what I talked about today, feel free to ask it in the comment section. You could also ask those questions on Twitter, at ScreenBite. Also, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, or if you're interested in just seeing how this all turns out, feel free to subscribe. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.